it's done. And what I want to go ahead and quickly touch on is truly one of the most horrible events that you can have in healthcare. And that's taking care of a kid who's in full arrest. But even worse, they're not only in full arrest, but they're actually in VFIP. And as you can imagine, this is not an everyday occurrence. Just to give you a reference point, in my now 27th year of doing transport, I have defibrillated two, count them, two children in 27 years. That's important. Now, in a subsequent video, we'll touch on cardioversion because that's different. Because if you've got a kid who overdoses on something funky or they're a heart kid, we cardiovert them far more frequently than we ever do when it comes to defibrillation. So with that in mind, if you're going to defibrillate a kid, specifically, here's a couple things to make your life a little easier. First of which, if you are old enough to remember these things. These were otherwise known as paddles. And they very much are still out there. However, as many of y'all have seen, now more places have gone to hands-free, otherwise known as pads. However, if you don't have pads and you still have conventional paddles, just a couple quick things to make your life a little easier. First of which is you're gonna hold them in both hands. On the paddles themselves, it says where to put them. One is labeled sternum, one is labeled apex. Meaning you put one on the sternum, the other one goes onto the apex. However, the question comes into play, what about if you can't read or you're stressed and you go like this, is that okay? And the answer is absolutely yes. This is absolutely fine. This is absolutely fine. There's no difference between the paddles. But again, if you're stressed and you're not sure where they go, just simply read the paddle and it will show you where to put them. Now, the other kind of neat thing though, when it comes to the paddles, is you use these for adults and you use these for kids. However, in PALS, remember they say that if the kid is under 10 kilos, meaning about 20 pounds or so, that if the kid is under one year old, otherwise known as 10 kilos, otherwise known as about 20 pounds, that's where they say if you have them, you can use the little tiny paddles, otherwise known as the pediatric or the baby paddles. However, I've seen an experience that people are handed these, but they're frantically running around trying to find the pediatric paddles. And they're like, I can't find them, I can't find them. That's because they're hiding. And this is really kind of cool. If all you've got is the adult ones, absolutely feel free to use them, no worries whatsoever. But check this out. If you go ahead and you take your adult paddles and simply slip it off, when you slip it off, you see right here on that very same paddle is your pediatric or your infant size. So the book says if you're under one year old, 10 kilos or about 20 pounds, pretty much you look like a baby, you can go ahead and use these little tiny defibrillator paddles. So for everybody else, just simply make your life easy and just take the paddles exactly as they are sitting on your defibrillator, read where to put them, place them onto the appropriate spot on the chest, and do what you need to do.